everybody, this is Joel and Paul from Moving to Mixie.co. I don't know, I just keep changing that up a little bit. I'm gonna see keep everyone, sticks. I don't know, we'll see what sticks. Bienvenidos a nuestro canal and bienvenidos a San Sebastián del Oeste, un pueblo mágico aquí en el estado de Jalisco. Oh, I threw in a bunch of Espanol there for everybody. You know, because part of our channel, and we get a lot of comments, hey, Paul? Yeah. We, you know, people are saying, you know, keep, uh, keep inserting the Spanish into the videos because, you know, they're, they're excited about learning more of the language of Espanol. So I thought, you know, we'll keep doing that. I'm just going to keep, every time I think about it, I'm just going to insert a little bit of Espanol. Anyways, yeah. bienvenidos a San Sebastián del Oeste and bienvenidos a this increíble hacienda uh, que se llama Hacienda Santa Rita and it's Hacienda Santa Rita aquí en San Sebastián. It's a very, very magical home. Would you not agree, Paul? And you went and did a bunch of video of it. Yeah. So everyone could take a look around right now. Uh, the views from the balcony, and we got this wraparound balcony. So, and Paul, you actually kind of lucked out. You got the master suite. Yeah, I did. You, you guys picked that room for some reason, but yeah. I, I got the I got the nest. Uh, you you got, got the, the you nest. got the you got the primo. Actually, yeah. both rooms are are quite they're... quite beautiful. Yeah. We got this wraparound balcony. Paul actually has a a door that leads uh, to his balcony, which is also facing west. So you're gonna get a beautiful sunset tonight. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to capture that because it's a little cloudy and we're about to go out for dinner and show you around a little bit of the town of San Sebastián del Oeste and uh, go to one of the restaurants that I've had on my radar uh, for some time now. I'm not going to even mention it because we're going to make that a little bit of a surprise and we may throw in a little bit of a bonus stop too or three. You never know with our videos. Yeah. Hey, okay? Sometimes it's just one stop. Sometimes it could be five. Yeah, because we, uh, we, we make a plan, mm -hmm. and then uh, usually we get diverted. Yeah. Because we have ADD. <laughs> we got ADD. Taco like, ADD. Taco ADD. What has brought us out here, Paul? Like, we had a, a pretty a big three days. Yeah, we've, uh, we've been traveling around this area, like through Mascota, Ayutla. Ayutla. Talpa de Allende. Talpa de Allende. Yeah. We passed through Volcanes. Volcanes, that's true. Yeah, and so we, uh, we've we been filming a uh, Velo Guide video. Yeah. Promo. And that's uh, pretty exciting because I was out here a couple weeks ago um, with my daughter uh, doing some horse riding. I'm like, man, they've done all this road work. Uh, we, her and I did this, uh, we just did a day trip to Talpa de Allende. And then we, uh, uh, we found this like really, really good uh, restaurant that does birria de chivo and what did you think of that birria and we're that that was amazing yeah yeah and that's gonna be a, a part of a taco tuesday video i believe so yeah yeah i'm, I'm i have to keep all this tr uh keep track of all <laughs> keep of track this of because all it's this. like some of it is taco tuesday some of it is like a saturday draw video yeah. and i'm like which one's which at this point i don't know well let's make clear what this one is today this yeah. is sabado everybody this is the draw video and if you're new to our channel please don't go away you got to stay to the end and one thing is Super importante! You gotta hit that like button, you gotta subscribe to our channel, toggle the little notification bell, and why do they gotta do that, Paul? Because they can win a chance to stay in Bucerias for a, for a week's stay, right? Yeah, a week's stay. Yeah. Like, uh, we give away a week's stay every Saturday, and that's why people love our Saturday video. We've given away, I, I don't even know how many, like 60 or 70, I gotta go back and count, but we're gonna do it until we, we hit the 100 mark, and then, uh, you know, we're going to cut it off. I, I mean, I'm sure we'll still have little prizes and things along the way in the future. But, you know, I committed to 100 trips. I'm going to give away 100 trips. Yeah, and then maybe, you know, in the future, there will be like a, a one-off, right? A like, one-off here and yeah. there. Because I tend to do that. I can't, yeah. I really can't help myself. We had this right. discussion earlier today. Right. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, I'm kind of like Oprah. You get it Yeah, if like Oprah could give away a car, race. I can at least give away a taco, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't have the billions, but, you know, I can afford a taco. 
Anyways, on that note, uh, Paul, uh, I'm sure during this video, everyone's kind of maybe already seen where we're staying. And yes. a big shout out to the owners here at Hacienda Santa Rita. They welcomed us into this uh, beautiful home and uh, gave us a, a nice deal so that we could actually afford it because we're struggling YouTubers. We could normally not afford to uh, put this into our budget of a road trip, um, but they had uh, given us a, a nice little deal and uh, I'm gonna give them a shout out like and I will be back um, to uh, stay uh, here this summer sometime and one of the nice things we've discovered about being up here in San Sebastian we kind of knew it but it reinforced it is what's the weather like it's amazing <laughs> it's amazing I, I've, I've totally forgotten how hot it is yeah back in Bucerias on this trip yeah and especially here right now this breeze coming through here is yeah. fantastic yeah it's like 88 90 degrees out uh, during the day in the town yeah. but up here on the hill no air conditioning right yeah. like we just have all the doors open we get this breeze coming in from all angles and we were cold yes like we actually said like we needed to bring a sweater slight wind chill factor yeah. right. anyways what uh we're, again this videos these videos that we're putting together really just go and really demonstrate um how easy it is to uh if you're living in a place like puerto vallarta or Bucerias, to make these trips a part of what you do to like instead of experiencing Europe you don't have to go to Europe from from Puerto Vallarta Mexico you can just travel throughout central Mexico and you'll see all kinds of history that was intermingled with Europe and a lot of the architecture uh, is is still intact it's it's quite beautiful to see and I don't know I I said this trip blew my mind yeah yeah and it yeah, um, you, you've been repeating yourself over and uh, over, over and over like you're saying i don't know man <laughs> mexico i love it yeah i'm gonna live here yeah. and i'm like J joel you do live here yeah that's true i want to live here but <laughs> it's almost like in my mind now it's like truly i i see no it's reason fortified. to to move anywhere else on a permanent basis because there's just too many things to see here and even this little road trip which literally, I don't know, what was the farthest place we went to? It was a Utla. It would be like a couple hundred kilometers, more or less. I'll find out the exact distance. We'll put some links and maps. But you could see so much over the course of a long weekend um, and at like a quarter of the price. Right. Right? We stayed at a pretty beautiful place in Muscoda too. Yes. And it was really affordable. And it was new, a nice cabin. And they had nice cool weather too. Yeah. And cattle and... <laughs> like we were, we were like awesome. on a farm for two days. Yeah, it was so nice. All right, I think we're uh, we're ready to roll because yeah, I've go. talked a lot here. You did. Okay, well let's go check out San Sebastian. Okay, vamanos. <laughs> I was just making sure there wasn't like a hole back there. Yeah, that you were about you, to Paul. back into. Are you, are you taping? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so some funny moments on the trip. Yeah, uh, we did have some funny moments. And, and Muscoda was probably the funniest. Yeah. Where we were just mucking around and there was like, just kind of a big random hole, like right by the parking stall. There's some kind of parking thing here. And Joel has backed up into it. And, uh, but we got some help here. Let's see how this goes. There you go. Gracias. Yeah. Like I think it used to be there because it was a farm, so they created something for the guy's tractor or yeah. to change oil, and then they're like, "Yeah, we'll just leave it there because it has utility." Right. Except everyone keeps falling in it. And yeah, because you weren't the first one. <laughs> no, they said I was not the first one. But here's the nice thing that shows about the Mexican friendliness. Like, how quickly did they everyone got you out of there? Mobi like everyone mobilized. They like, were all doing something else, and then they said, "Oh, gotta no, get the car out, help this guy out." Yeah, so that's that was cool. that was awesome. So thank you guys. You got us out of there in literally two minutes. So I yeah. thought we were pretty pooched. So here we are on top of this hill. Um, lots of cobblestone. Uh, Sierra Lago was pretty cool. Yeah, that was a beautiful place. Um, Jillian really liked the drive up there yeah she and loved i'm being sarcastic the because she hated it <clears throat> but once we got there my it god it was like she said she said what was what hotel it was like four seasons or yeah. said something like that yeah, right? it was sure. like four it was, seasons quality for it sure it was very very fancy 
but in the middle of nowhere. In like, the middle of nowhere. It's like in the middle of nowhere. Beautiful lake. Yeah. Beautiful on a lake. very sketchy road. A very sketchy road to get up there, but I want to actually. I would have like loved to spend a couple days there. We will. I'm going back. Yeah. Like, see, th this is why I'm so excited. Like, we barely went anywhere in Mexico on this trip, and I'm just like so stoked to go back to all these places again. Yeah. What was your favorite place? Um, my favorite place. I like Mascota. Yeah. I like waking up there and all the birds. And it was a cool spot. That was a pretty cool spot. Yeah. Being in nature, I liked it. Yeah, there was uh, tons of birds. I mean, if someone's a birder, they can I'm a birder, but I don't know what any of the birds are called. Right. I just point at them and go, look at that one. Look at that red headed bird. We weasel bottom. Yeah, Muscoda. Birds. Red belly sap suckers. I'm sure there is one of those. Why, Joel, watch me. <laughs> Jill's trying to get us into another pickle. Oh. Huh? Jillian, I gotcha. You did Don't, not. All right, I'm turning, I'm turning the camera off. For this comments I've seen on Facebook. On lately. Facebook? Yeah, there are uh, a lot. No, there's, I mean, there's <laughs> plenty. And it was on like, um, you know, some Mexico page. Like, you know, there's all these Mexico groups. Uh -huh. Some guy was there and he's like, yeah, the Mexican people inherently are just violent people and their friendliness is well, just, that's... it's just, it's just bull. Yeah. He says, really, they're just being friendly to suck you in so they can eventually kill you. That's what he was, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's what essentially, so, so I that's recorded very, him, I'm that's like. That's a very extreme comment. No, well, but that's, it was a little shielded, but he was pretty blunt. Yeah. He was basically being racist yeah. and he was basically like creating something that was completely false. So I reported mm -hmm. him to the. The, the administrators or the moderators, what do you call them? And yeah. also the Facebook. Cause I think, On that group. That's just stupid. Yeah. Anyways, I'm, that's <laughs> off my chest now. Okay. Let's go check this we're place out. Now. So we're at the restaurant bar, uh, Nebulosa. Jardin Nebulosa. Jardin Nebulosa. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿Cómo están? ¿Todo bien por aquí? Somos a tres. Oh, where are we? Gracias. Look at this. And Jillian, you're seeing Adelaide uh, eat here? Yeah. Our daughter? She's been to San Sebastian more cool. times than me. Hola. Hola. Wow. I didn't know this was here. But I continue to be blown away. Isn't this is so beautiful in here? And the bar? Like yeah. if I had a dream bar that would be built for me in my home, it might look like that. It might look like that. Yeah. Honey, that's my design for my man cave. Is that okay? Not it. Okay, maybe a little smaller, but something small. like that. And we're waiting on the cocktails from Gerardo, see? See, you can really sink into yeah. these chairs, right, yeah. Jillian? Yes, I can. You are <laughs> You're a proponent in. of comfort. Yes, thank you, Paul. And, and the coquixle fruit. Coquixle. Yeah. And Say you know, that three times. Okay. Coquixle. 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 I can't do it. Coquixle. 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 Uh, I wanted to point something out to you, Joel. What? Uh, there are avocados above your head. What? Yeah. Do you see them? No. Oh, yeah, I do. They're yeah. Right there. It's an avocado tree. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so, a lot of avocados are grown here in San as Sebastian. As they fall, we will make guacamole. 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 Okay. I feel like I'm... Uh, what? Are we in Disneyland? Yes. This is so cool. <laughs> Look at Th this that's thing. That's bananas. Holy cow. Okay. Now what? What? Oh, jeez. Come on. Okay. Oh my gosh. How's that for a cocktail? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> we're, we're appeasing the... So would this be Hi. Mayan? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Would this be Mayan, you think? We're appeasing the Mayan god. So what god? Uh, what no, god are we... Aztec. Aztec. Uh, it's uh, Quetzalcoatl. 
gets that what flavor? Yeah, okay. it's a serpent with feathers. Okay. Yes. And he was considered the god of gods. Yeah, the god of gods and the new era of gods. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So he'll be happy with us tonight. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Cheers, guys. Thank, Thank you. I, I hope you, you like it. Thank you. Gracias. 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 Jeez, that was surprising. <laughs> I did not expect yeah. to have a full-on ceremony. Uh, yeah, we have a ceremony uh, for the Aztec god. Wow. You can go first. Well, this is pretty incredible. And Quetzalcoatl, yeah. he'll be happy with us. You know, so drinking to the Aztec god. But you know, we're not no human sacrifice uh, here. And uh, not yet. It's just the night uh, is young, my friend. Wow, that's good. Yeah. That is like. Julian, you gotta try this. Mm -hmm. That round ice cube in there. It's and it's pulling it off. This guy knows what he's doing. Yeah. Like, did you watch him prepare those drinks? Yeah. I think that's an art. I think he's done that before. Yeah. And he had the bartender mustache too. Like, that's what I can't stand about the Cooper Bocas. This is a hipster like, bar. Yeah. Like, we don't get to see his face. Yeah. And then he took it off momentarily, and I'm like, dude. Oh, dude. I wish I could rock that mustache. Right. I just couldn't. I, can, I, I have the. Uh, <laughs> you got that mustache on your. I head, got the though. mustache on my head oh my now, gosh. though. <laughs> And Jillian, you, uh, <laughs> you, you got you're yourself here. a drink too, right? I, I got. She's pretending to work. Yeah, yeah, you're work. No, Jillian's been really she busy. Really but put your phone down, honey. You need a break. This is uh, a mojito made with uh, raicilla. And which god are you uh, sacrificing your drink to? <laughs> um, good question. The, which god? Which god should I? Thor. Thor. Yeah. Thor. yeah. That's right. Yeah, Thor. There you go. See you in Valhalla. Yeah. No, that's not a good Viking voice. So far, the night has yeah has been great, right? Yeah. Like we, uh, this is a pleasant surprise. Yeah, so totally. Let's, let's see what other surprises are in store. Via Nogal. Sorry, I'm stoked to go to Via Nogal. Yes. I had a brain fart there. Four hundred and five. Yeah. So that equates to around twenty, 20 U.S. Bucks. dollars. Yeah, yeah twenty dollars. Um, and that's, that? that's yeah, a good we're deal. Gonna if we, if we were gonna be in in San Francisco, California, that would have been in one Toronto, drink. <laughs> It would have that was been, one drink. That was one drink. That was one but drink. We all got very, very good drinks. Yeah. We all got, we all had With one. So show. that was three. And we got three for one. Three for one. Hey, we beat you two for one. Osma, yeah, you Osma. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, they got you beat out <laughs> yeah, here. We got you beat out here. We got three for one. Osma. But like with everything that went with it, it's the ambiance, right? Like, oh yeah. Dude. Come on. Right up on the tree. Oh yeah, it's like the movie Avatar here. Ooh, it turned red. Ooh, look at that, Jill. We got the dancing horse out here. Wanna start this? It's always like late morning that we arrive here. Yeah. So I've never been here in the evening. Yeah. And when the sun when the sun comes down, it allows you to look around more because the sun's yeah. not bright in and your eyes. And just the lighting and the yeah. trees. And normally when I come here, I'm like tired and I'm hot. Sweaty. And I'm sweaty because I just rode up this freaking mountain. Yeah. Um, like today, because yeah. I was hammering. I was trying to get Phil Guyman's KOM, but on my e-bike, and I didn't <laughs> do it. You couldn't do <laughs> it. I'm still a minute off. Well. Damn it. Uh, but it's quite impressive. Yes. So we're on our way. So the next Not restaurant. Not too much further and we'll, we're going to be here. Which is also um, a restaurant and an hacienda so you can stay there. Do you guys hear a sprinkler? No. Do you? Look at this again. I think I did. Like, again, right? You walk in and you're like, what are we at? A country club? Yeah, it's a beautiful garden. That's an interesting plant. Yeah. Ooh, I love those. Isn't it pretty? It's got this long stem with a mo like some kind of mohawk. I don't know. I know it's like a maybe it's a lime tree. No. No? Limones? Like yeah, they don't turn yellow as they or like orange. I know, but like who knows, right? Or they start, they're starting green and then they go orange. Yeah. But it's, it's definitely some kind of citrus fruit. We'll ask our viewers. Uh, hey, can someone tell us what, what that kind is? Of, what kind of fruit is this? Huh? 
Yeah. And not to offend anyone who likes to say it, the Four Seasons is beautiful, but that's not real anything, okay? You can go to the Four Seasons Dubai, you can go to the Four Seasons, is there one in Vancouver or Toronto? Like, it's all the same, right? Like, it's just, it's just a high-end hotel. You're not experiencing the culture. You're actually doing yourself a disservice, I think, for just like, unless you're just going for like something, so, but if that's all you do every time, hey, hit the thumbs down, but I think you're missing out if you're not coming to places like this. This is real, and you're getting the same quality for a fraction of the price. 100%. I'm sticking with that one. Yeah. Oh my God, look at this view. ¿Qué es esto, por favor? Así es. ¿Tienes un decantador? Para decant decantador, no. no. Ah, está bien. No tengo. ¿Cuál le gustaría, señor? Ok, sí, perfecto, señor. Monte Chanique. Es eso. Este es el Monte Chanique uh, de Ricardo. Y este es el Gran Ricardo. 2018, 2018. Y es como un gran blend. Y es Cab Sav, Merlot, Petit Verdot, Cab Franc. So, you know me, I love my Bordeaux from, from, oh, where's that place across the pond? Oh, France. Yeah. But now Mexico is, uh, I think, a direct competitor to France. Ooh. But people just don't know it. Yeah. The kind of wines that are coming out of Mexico right now are, and people still don't believe me. But then when they finally taste and they do our wine tour, they're like, huh, you're actually kind of right. And we had someone once tell us, no, they're just saying that because, uh, they, you know, they drank some tequila and they're feeling good about being on oh, vacation. Yeah. No, no, no. The wines that are coming out of Mexico are, are legit. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's exciting for and, someone. And you know what? That tequila that that they, that person was saying, you know, we have good tequila here, the best. Yeah, <laughs> the best tequila, right? And the rice and the scal. I mean, yeah. like Mexico's self-sufficient, and it kind of also dawned on me the other day. It's like why the media has been so tough on Mexico over time because if they weren't, everyone would be living here. Yeah, and they'd go, oh, <laughs> wait, like, it's better here. Yeah, like, I, uh, yeah, like we've said this before in other videos, there's troubles, you know, and there's pockets of problems and, you know, no country's perfect, but I don't know, man. As I said in this, <laughs> in this video earlier, like eight years later and the more we keep doing these videos, the more, the more certain I become to understand that we made the right decision. Hey, hon, like, there's no question. We made she the agrees. right decision. Yeah. Yes. Julie agrees. So you made the right decision with... The Monte Shani. Monte Shani. <laughs> Tell you it's to to moving to Mexico to moving to Mexi Punto Co. Punto to 5,000 followers coming up, yeah, coming up quick. Garlic, yeah, <laughs> I think there's just I a little bit a of garlic, of it, right? <laughs> that's a little sprinkle. Good pairing there, so, right? I'm gonna try pairing here, okay? So, I'm gonna keep it in my mouth. <clears throat> wow. Paul, I'm going to uh, take one more and then you, you devour this baby. Okay. And I like yeah. how there's it's Melba toast. It's and definitely it's not a Mexican uh, delight, but here it is. Here it is. Melba toast. And the sun has disappeared. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, it was so far away. Yeah. It moved away from our point of view and now it's gone. Off into the distance. Look at that, Joel. Oh. <laughs> like, are we in Italy? Are we in France? Like, where are we? We're in San Sebastian, Del Oeste, Del Oeste, Mexico, and Pueblo, Mexico. when people say, hey, Mexico's just all tacos, which we love, <laughs> I mean, that's pretty apparent. Hey, if it was, we'd still live here. But we'd still right. live here. If there's just tacos, I'm good, but look at what we got in front of us. 
that's amazing. We have the beef carpaccio, beef carpaccio. Perfecto. And look at all the accoutrements for that. Yeah. And then we have this ensalada nogal with a little guava. Like you see, I got that for you, honey, because I knew you'd like that poached yeah, egg. Yeah, the poached oh, oh, oh. egg. There's with some the camembert, bacon. a brie, and the lardons. La, 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 the lardons. La, lardons. 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 In English, In, lardons. You could right. say lardons or lardons. Lardons. So, so am I going to... And then well, what, is, what is this? They gave us these... This is, uh, yeah, this is a little... De la casa. Yeah, de la casa. So it's, it's, well, it's like all the accoutrements for the... So you can... So I can take a little bit of this onion, for example. And I'm going right for the one that's like lime and honey. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Look at that, Paul. Look at it. Dude. Right there. Look at that. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, that's good. What's going on there, Jill? A little poached egg action. Yeah. Soft you, poached egg. You you gotta do the you gotta try this one. This the, is for you. Yeah. Because I kind of I kind of picked that for you because I knew. Poached egg. We're gonna need these little. You know, try it. Give it that. Mm-hmm. Cut this in half. Get your poached egg. Your little bit of cheese. Oh yeah, look at that, hey hun. Let's see, poopsie. Hold on, I'm gonna get some more. That's a meal, right there. The <laughs> trout. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, and, and Jill, how do you say trout in Spanish again? Trucha. 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 That's not yes. truca. Okay. Trucha. 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 Because it's Trucha. The, the, the like, CH <laughs> is like ch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you want to know something? What? what? Look at this. Look at the skin. Okay. Mm. Any fish that is pan seared. And I mean, Jillian's going to tell us, but it should look like that. Yeah. Now, is it going to taste like that? It's going to okay. taste like that. And, and oh. Jillian, what did you get oh. there? This is the spatzel. And it's the yeah. spatzel. The, and that. then we're going to have the beef bourguignon. Oh, oh, yeah. Tough, yeah. Uh -huh. ready, right? I have the spatzel. Oh, sorry. Can I just tell you? Look, look we've yeah. got little no, burners. Beef okay. Oh, okay. with a little burner. Okay. Wow. Wow, this is like, uh, this is legit, guys. This is legit. That's fire. That's real fire. That's real there. fire. Excellent. Wowie. We've seen fire at both restaurants we tonight. We have. And no, so, and, and Paul, you got to get a close-up of the, the, the device that he's using to bring. Yeah, he's got like this special handle special that he carries handle. everything with. Wow. Okay. Gracias. Oh, that's the mama's uh, Mama. pollo. Yeah. Abuelita. Abuelita's pollo. But that's bubbling. Yes, it smells good. That is bubbling. It's it's amazing. It's like crispy skin, light, fluffy fish. Delicious. Look at your thing. You have to like blow your fire yeah. out there. Yeah, right. How do I do that? It's starting to boil. Let's see. It's a good beef burger, y'all. Yeah, on that I'm note, gonna, I'm gonna have to put my camera. Down. We're gonna let Paul put his camera down. We're having a good well, dinner. And then when we get back to the Hacienda, we're going to draw the week's winner. All right. Uh, a week's stay in Bucerías, Mexico. No bonuses today, but a week's stay in Mexico. And then, you know what? When you should come here, you got to do a special trip out to San Sebastian. For sure. It'll blow your mind. Anyways, we're back at the Hacienda Santa Rita. Paul, did we have a great day today? It's been magical been pretty freaking magical and the dinner out of this world uh, I want to learn more about the owner from Via Nogal because uh, I did ask the staff and he's French definitely a French influence but also a little bit of Italian I thought I saw the a little bit of the Italian influence there as well and then uh, that drink at uh, Nebuloso mm -hmm. was pretty fantastic but yeah. we got to come back but it's that time of the night, or day, depending when you're watching this, where we got to announce the winner of a week's stay in Bucerías, Mexico. And I already draw it. I already drew the name. And uh, I just remember. I just remember it. It's 2,333. 
that's the, the number on the randomizer. And the name of the winner is Joseph Hertzeller. Felicidades, Joseph Hertzeller. You've won yourself a week stay in beautiful Bucerias, Mexico. Come hang out with us. And I wish I could say we could throw in like some bonus here in San Sebastian. That's going to be too crazy. But uh, let Jillian know. That, what should we do, Paul? You call it the bonus. Something in something in Boosterius. Something in Boosterius? Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, let's give some love to Cafe Boosterius. Cafe Boosterius. So we're going to go to Cafe Boosterius for lunch. They, they do a very nice lunch or brunch. Uh, you can have a coffee there. They have a good tequila, mezcalis. They have a good burger. They have a very good burger. So look, yeah. Burgers. That's what it is. Okay. All right. So anyways, thank you. Once again, everybody, for joining us at movingtomexi.co. If you like what we're doing, please hit that like. Give us a double thumbs up. Like, just hit it twice. Actually, don't hit it twice because that... It might undo it. It might undo just it. Just do so it once. Just do it once. And subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And until we see you next Saturday, but also Tuesday. Yeah. yeah after you see this video, we'll be back on track for Talk Tuesday. Nos vemos hasta luego. And I'm going to sip my mezcal. Yeah. <sighs>